In this video, we will explore Square Kicker's tools inside a Squarespace website and look at the details for understanding the Square Kicker menu, including hover features, the device toggle, the indicator dot system, and the reset button. This will ensure you're ready to hit the ground running on your website project. There are four places to find the Square Kicker tools. For site-wide and page tools, click the SK button in the upper right corner of your website. Sometimes you may see a small flashing dot on your SK button. This will flash blue if your site is saving customizations to the Square Kicker server or Square Kicker is saving customizations to your site. The red indicates Square Kicker is disabled and green means you have a notification. Page tools are found next to Site on the main menu. This will affect changes on the current page you have open. Each Squarespace section has a specific set of Square Kicker tools. These are located in the Squarespace section toolbars. Simply click the SK button to open the tool set. Similar to sections, each block has a unique set of tools related to the blocks type you are working on, so it pays to take some time to explore them when you are beginning with Square Kicker. To set a design change for a specific screen size, you can do so by navigating to the screen size using the device toggle in the upper right hand corner of the Square Kicker menu. Changes made inside the selected device settings will affect that screen size and smaller. For example, designs made with the desktop setting will make changes to every screen size unless a unique change is made on a smaller device such as tablet, which will overwrite the desktop settings for tablet and mobile. Advanced tools are located next to the Design tab in the Square Kicker menu. These are premium features available on Pro, Designer and Agency plans only. Presets are a time-saving premium feature, allowing you to save customizations from a specific block or section and reuse these settings elsewhere. This is a powerful feature, allowing you to add customizations at lightning speed. For more information on presets, check out the tutorial on our website. Hover animations can be applied to a specific element, and a lightning bolt will show on your menu when this is available. When you click the hover icon, your Square Kicker menu will turn blue, and now any design changes you make will show when you hover over that element. Click the hover icon again to return to the design settings. A helpful feature built into Square Kicker is the indicator dots. You will see these pop up throughout your menu as you work with Square Kicker. They show to the left of any tool that you have added customizations to. You can see here I have a yellow dot indicating that I have made some design changes using this tool. A purple dot will show where a preset has been used and a blue dot if a hover state was added. These allow you to quickly see where you have applied Square Kicker customizations. On the other side of the title is a reset button. If you wish to remove Square Kicker changes, hover over this reset icon, pause, and click. All Square Kicker changes made with that tool will be reset. If you would like a more detailed look into specific tools, be sure to check out our tutorials.